It's been revealed that key parts of the Pike River Mine's electrical infrastructure could have survived the multiple explosions that shook the mine close to eight years ago. Media were briefed today by the Pike River Recovery Agency on progress so far and coming up with a safe means of carrying out a manned re-entry as far as a huge rockfall. This is up the drift, remember. It's not into the mine workings proper. The agency's chief operating officer, Dingy Pattinson, told Conan Young an area of interest will be the 400 metre network of tunnels off to the side of the entry tunnel that could hold important clues as to what caused the original explosion. While a lot of focus has been on recovering the bodies of the 29 men who died in the mine, of equal importance to the families and authorities is trying to work out why it exploded. The Pike River Recovery Minister, Andrew Little, says if this can be established, then manslaughter charges could follow, something a number of the families have been fighting for. Today, the man leading the recovery operation, Dingy Pattinson, said numerous inquiries, including a royal commission, had established there were dangerous levels of methane in the mine, but had so far not been able to work out the ignition source. There was about five or so different um, options, I suppose, that they said could have caused the explosion. Now, um, whether we can find out what caused it, who knows, but we might be able to eliminate some of those options. So what could have caused the explosion? Options include a diesel engine overheating, contraband taken into the mine such as cigarettes, electric motors or frictional sparking caused by work being done in the mine. Another possibility, and the one Dingy Pattinson is hoping to count in or out by re-entering the entry tunnel, is arcing in the mine's electrical system. This is contained in a little talked about series of tunnels off to the side of the main entry tunnel known as pit bottom in stone. That's an unknown what, what condition the equipment will be in because there has been four explosions through that mine. Um, a lot of the gear in the pit bottom in stone area may still be intact because that was out of a direct line of the blast. For anybody who saw the footage of the debris being blown out of the mine portal or the flames leaping from the ventilation shaft, it seems incredible that anything could have survived intact following those four explosions. But Mr Pattinson says methane blasts tend to travel in a relatively straight line. The blast actually goes for its point of exit, so the main blast would have gone out of a main tunnel entrance, as you've seen in the video, video footage at the time of explosion, and some of it would have gone up a vent shaft as well. But it, wouldn't it necessarily have gone either side, which is where the pit bottom and stone is? No, if there was, if there was some pressure would have gone, some overpressure would have gone around those roadways, but the bulk of it would have gone straight out the direction of the tunnel. The existence of this network of tunnels off to the side of the entry tunnel is what saved Daniel Rockhouse that day. He was refuelling his vehicle in this part of the mine when the explosion shot up the tunnel, knocking him to the ground but leaving him able to walk out to safety. Dingy Pattinson says if they get the go-ahead, a six-strong team of forensic investigators will spend a considerable amount of time poring over the mine's electrical system here, along with Daniel Rockhouse's vehicle, which remains where he left it nearly eight years ago. The whole purpose of a recovery is, um, and, and I see our role there, is to support the police. It is a, it is a crime scene, and, um, and we're trying to find out if we can help in, in finding out what, what happened, what went wrong. Starting next week, a risk analysis of the entry plan will be done. This will then be reviewed by a fresh set of eyes before a final plan is presented to the Minister for final sign-off at the end of October. For Checkpoint, Ko Konanyang Tene.